Ahoy mateys! Welcome back to Joystick News, where today we're diving into the treacherous waters of Ubisoft's latest voyage, Skull and Bones. After weathering storms of delays and skepticism, has this pirate RPG found its treasure, or is it adrift in a sea of mediocrity? Let's set sail and find out. Skull and Bones invites us to embrace the grim yet thrilling life of a pirate, starting from the bottom with nothing but a de-how and dreams of infamy. It's a rugged journey from spear-chucking at sea creatures to becoming the terror of the high seas. The game throws us into a world where climbing the pirate hierarchy means engaging with various vendors, crafting, and shipbuilding a standard fare for RPGs, but crucial for our piratical ascent. But what really sets Skull and Bones apart is its approach to ship builds and combat. Imagine coordinating with your crew, one playing a fiery pyromaniac, the other a devastating bombardier, creating a symphony of destruction on the open sea. The combat, it's where Skull and Bones shines. Starting with a simple d how we eventually command ships capable of 360-degree havoc, each pirate customizing their vessel to fit their playstyle. Yet, despite these strengths, the sea of Skull and Bones feels a bit lonely at times. You see, mateys, sailing solo in this vast ocean can feel as empty as a deserted isle. Multiplayer brings the world to life, but the game struggles to keep you engaged during those long, solitary voyages. And while the promise of epic sea battles and outpost raids beckons, it's clear this isn't the spiritual successor to Assassin's Creed Roman IV, black flag many hoped for. No boarding actions, no swashbuckling duels, just your ship and the sea. And then there's the rough sea of technical issues from bizarre graphical glitches to the all too familiar Ubisoft bug of Deathmark has expired popping up more frequently than sightings of the Kraken. So where does that leave us with skull and bones? It's a voyage of highs and lows, where the thrill of naval combat and ship customization sails against the wind of a lackluster pirate life and technical squalls. As we look to the horizon, the potential for growth is there, like a distant port beckoning with promises of riches and adventures. But for now, we're left navigating a sea that feels as vast as it does empty. But what say you, crew? Are you ready to hoist the black flag and set sail with skull and bones, or will you be watching from the shore? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed our voyage through Skull and Bones, give us a like, hit subscribe, and ring that bell for more gaming treasures. Until next time, keep your compass true and your cutlass sharp. Farewell.